Let's go. Thumbs up if you can hear me, please. Perfect. Thank you. You can see me properly. Everything looks all right, yeah? Remember, you need the resistance band again, yeah? So grab the resistance band. You can have different ones. As I said last session, you can have the straight ones. You can have the loop ones. Just test. We still have this session and the next one with the resistance band. And then from there, we will use this equipment a few times, okay? Again, remember, holding the resistance band careful. Don't, don't hold the resistance band at the end because that can snap. And be aware when you hold the resistance band with your feet is the same thing, okay? Again, test. Because the resistance band is different, the mine is a loop. You can have a, a straight one. So you have to test the resistance. You have to test the best place, even the way you wrap your hands around the resistance band, okay? Yeah? It's all a learning process, so don't overthink that. Try to do the things properly, and let's do some serious work again, yeah? Stand up, please. Let's work. Have some water with you, just in case. So if you don't have that, grab that now, and we will start with the warm-up straight away. Today, I want one of you running the cool-down. Ready? Thumbs up. Stand up. Man, up and down, please. Thank you. 
Open up a bit more, arms up, going down, touching your toes. Touching the floor, extension of a hat, one, two, overhead extension, wing back Perfect plank position, drop position. First, set up the plank position, drop your line, and then bring your feet side by side with your hands, bum down. Stand up, jogging. Involve your upper body as well. High knees. Heel flicks. Any jumps, warm up the wrist, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can stop now. Let's start the main session straight away. We start with the basic part, body weight. We'll do five movements in a row. After that, rest. Another basic set. Another five movements in a row. And then we grab the resistance band. Okay? Yeah. So I'll show you the exercises straight away. Stand up. No one's sitting now. Let's go. Really simple. Let's mix T rotations and pikes. T rotation, pike, T rotation, make sure you rotate completely. After that, groiners, reaching, alternating, bring your foot, same side twisting up. Alternate that one side, the other side. After that, we have T pull on the floor, perform the T. Lower back, upper back, and shoulders. Plank, twist, step from plank position. Twist completely and step. Twist and step. Try to keep your chest aligned with the floor. We finish this one with wide pull. Again, for upper back and shoulders. Arms in wide position. Yeah? Let's go. Five seconds. On the floor, please. Three, two, one, let's start the session. T rotation and pike. We're mixing the movements, but the aim is for you to perform one and then the other one. So don't mix the motion. Mix the movements, don't mix the motion. Make sure you keep your hands along with your shoulders, please. Make sure you activate your core properly, strong core and strong legs. Try to keep your legs always straight. 20 seconds. Remember, this is an activation set. 
So you're going to rush the movement. You activate your body. Three, two, one. Keep the plank position. Left foot, left arm. And then alternate that, please. If you struggle to bring your foot side by side with your hand, bring them up as much as you can. seconds. Get ready to go chest on the floor. Arms into position. Three, two, one. On the floor. Let's go for two pull. Arms straight. Up and down. Make sure you engage the proper muscles here. Lower back. Upper back. And back of your shoulders. Keep your arms straight, the aim is for you to keep the T position. Halfway. Don't rush the movement. Ten seconds. to plank position. From this plank position, we step and twist. Lower body, upper body, always strong here. Keep your chest aligned with your floor. So, hands under your shoulders, chest aligned. You step and you twist. When you step, you cross under the other leg. 30 seconds. Fifteen. We go on the floor again, chest on the floor for wide pull. So we change the position with our arms. Three, two, one, on the floor. Wide position with the arms now. Up and down. Let's go. Stand up, get ready for the second one. Second set, again, five minutes. We get four squat curls, alternating the legs so you perform the squat. Curl with one, squat, curl with, with the other one. A squat, top squat, and masters, feel free to use your equipment. And when I say the equipment here, it's your dumbbells or other equipment you have. Donkey kicks, front launch. So you perform the donkey kick, activating the glutes, and then the same leg performs the front launch. Windmills, remember this one, legs straight, going down, touching the floor, or touching the opposite foot, the heel, 
One side, the other side, and we finish with renegades. Get ready, squat girls. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Plant your feet on the floor, please. Keep your chest up. Keep your own pace. But don't stop. Try not to stop. Let's go. Chest up when you perform that squat. Dreams 
Ten seconds. And now the blues light it up all night. All you see is strange clouds. Three, two, one. Stand up, please. Have some water now, but be aware of the movements. With the resistance band out. Hip hinge. Step. Wrap your hands on the sides or step and grab the middle. Movement from the hips, back completely straight. Sumo squat. Wide position. Grab the middle. Simple. Bend on the rows. Narrow position. Wrap your hands. Or just grab the resistance band, not at the end, please. After that, upright rows. Step, same, same place where you step for the bed over rows. We do upright rows going up, chest level. We finish with front raises. You can do it here, or as I said the other day, you can go on the floor, even if you have a straight one, you go on the floor and you do it from here, okay? So knees on the floor and do it from here. Get ready. Hip hinge. Check the time. Three, two, one. Let's go. Bending from the hips, working those arm strings, working those glutes. Don't let your shoulders retain forwards. Let's go, let's go. Next straight. I don't want to see that back curving, please. I don't want to see that back curving. If you struggle, bend the knees a bit more. Try like this. Bending the knees a bit more. Let's go. Three, two, one. Get it on. Let's go for wide. And sumo squat, retain your feet out. Remember the movement is up and down, knees bending, extend the legs. Chest up. Simple. Resist this bend on the floor, step. And then grab the middle. Make sure you step really strong. Your feet, they have to step really strong in order to keep that resistance band in place. Keep your chest up, chest up. Ten seconds. We go for a narrow, narrow position again with the feet. Three, two, one, bend over the rows. Narrow position, please. Let's go. Squeeze your back. Squeeze your back. Keep your back straight. Slowly, you're going too fast on the way up, and then you're releasing the resistance band too fast on the way down. Slowly, please. Three, two, one. Same position with your feet. Upright now. I want hands, elbows, and shoulders aligned. 
When you bring the arms down, everything is aligned. Elbows driving the movement up, up the elbows. Good. Slowly. And of course, you have to keep your feet planted on the floor. If you keep on moving, you change the position with the resistance band. And the movement will be different. Looking forwards, good alignment. Stay in the same place. Three, two, one. Front raises. If you need, go a bit even more narrow. And then bring the arms up slowly. We're not swinging with our backs. Back straight. Step on the resistance band. Up and down. If you struggle to do this, or if the, tip, the resistance band is too small, knees on the floor, same movement. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. You can stop for a few seconds. Well done. Let me stop this. Better than last time, yeah? With a resistance band. What do you think? Better. Well done. Really good. Really good. Again, depends on the resistance band in terms of resistance. The position with your feet. So start narrow and then with your hands as well. I know, I know sometimes it's a struggle because you don't know the position. But once you get used to that, this is an, an amazing uh, piece of equipment, okay? Yeah? Let's go for the second round. Yeah? Second round. We start with the basic, the basic set. Again, for the second basic set, the A squat, the top squat, and the muscles, you can use the re your equipment, your dumbbells or kettlebells, or even barbells, but be aware of the proper technique. So, for example, if you're doing the donkey kicks with the front lunges, if you're doing that with your equipment, Make sure you keep the proper alignment, yeah? Or even here. Let's go. Let's do this. Second round. And you know, today we repeat the resistance band part twice as well. As well. Two rotation spikes. Grinders, the one you bring your foot side by side with your hand and you reach up. And twist, T pull, twist, steps in plank position, and finish with Y pull. 30 seconds. Get ready. Let's go. Different session this week, different sessions, more specific, important as well. Five, two rotations mixed with pikes, mix the movements, don't mix the motion. One motion, second motion, third one, two movements, three motions. Strong core, keep your legs straight as well. There is no need to bend your knees here. Legs always straight, please. Three, two, one. 
Find position, let's go for the groin and snap. 10 seconds. Chest on the floor with the next one. Keep your arms in T position. That means arms straight. Let's go. T position with your arms. Up and down. Yes, up. You don't need to bring your legs up as well. Try to keep your legs always straight. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, plank position, step and twist. Strong arms supporting that movement. Don't rush. Make sure you step properly, twisting. Lower body mainly. Ten seconds, don't stop now. Three, two, one. Get one on the floor again. Arms in wide position now. Up and down. Wide position now. Focus on squeezing your upper back. Ten seconds. For 60 squat curls, the next one. Donkey kicks, front lunges, windmills. Again, mind the windmills, please. Open up, arm strings, they are the end here. Arm up, straight, straight arm. Looking up, relax the other one. The aim is for you to go down, bending from the hips. Bending from the hips, trying to touch the floor or the opposite foot. So if you have the left arm straight down, you try to touch the right foot and the opposite. We finish with renegades. Plant position, squeeze your back. 10 seconds. Get ready. Squat curls, quads, glutes, 
arm swings for the curls. Let's go. Let's go. Bending those knees. Balance position, chest up. Let's go, let's go. Looking up. Fifteen, we finish with Renegades. Squeeze your upper back together. Stand up. 
Let's go for the last part. Resist this band again. Counting with the one we did on Monday. It's the third time we'll do the resistance band stuff. So let's go. Thirty seconds. Hip hinge. Mine goes on the floor like this, like a straight one. I step. Feet really strong. No one can move me from here. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Bending from the hips. From the hips. Back straight. Rotate your shoulders back and down, please. Keep going. Let me turn on the side. We need just check. Let's go. Let's go. Thirty seconds. Back flat. If you struggle to keep your back completely straight, bend your knees a bit more, please. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go upright. Narrow again. Narrow. Hands, elbows, shoulders aligned. Let's go, drive the movement, bring the elbows up first, even with a straight one, same thing, same thing. If the resistance band is too strong, again, you can go knees on the floor, knees on the floor. Three, two, one. Front raises now. 
Everyone keep your feet in the same place. Let's go. Again, you can do this. Knees on the floor. Slowly up. Slowly down. Slowly up. Slowly down. Knees on the floor if you need. If you're watching this session on YouTube, feel free to grab another one and do the stretches, the cool down from there. I'm stopping recording now. I want one of you 